Hey everyone, welcome back to the COIPT channel. Today we're taking a look at IYPT 2021 problem number 10, Spin Drift. Before we start, I'm pleased to announce that the registration for COIPT 2021 has begun. If you are planning on competing, please make sure to contact your team leader to register your team. Registration link is in the description. The problem tells us that when we get a ring to roll in a parabolic bowl, some interesting motion may appear. We want to investigate this phenomenon. For this demonstration, I 3D printed a parabolic bowl and colored it black. For the ring, I used a keychain ring, and to make the motion more visible, I wrapped a small piece of yellow electrical tape around the ring. As you can see from the slow motion video, as the ring rolls in the bowl, it seems to do a flip when it rolls up the bowl, then it rolls down the bowl, and when it rolls up to the other side of the bowl, the motion repeats. The motion gets quite interesting towards the end, because the radius of curvature of the surface is the smallest at the center of the bowl. Sometimes the ring will appear to fall, then stand up on its own. My bowl is not too smooth, so the rate of energy loss is a little higher than I wanted. The ring could roll for longer if the bowl is more smooth. Let's try to look at this system more closely. First, we ask ourselves how would we describe the motion of the ring on the bowl? We have to know its position, velocity, and angular velocity. We can specify the contact point between the bowl and the ring by a radius and an angle. The height off the ground is known from the geometry of the parabola. We can tag on three axes to the point of contact. The ring can rotate about any of these three axes. We clearly saw slipping, so the rate of rotation about these axes need not to be coupled with the rate of sliding along the surface of the bowl. Knowing this, we'll be able to write the potential energy and the kinetic energy of the ring using these coordinates. This is more of a Lagrangian approach to describe the motion. Of course, if the ring slips a lot, then you need to add a dissipative function to account for that. We can also look at the motion from a Newtonian perspective. In terms of forces, the ring feels a gravitational force, a normal force from the bowl, and a friction force. The direction of the friction force will depend on the direction of motion of the contact point. In terms of torque, the gravitational force provides no torque since it acts on the center of mass of the ring. The normal and friction force both provide a torque. For this problem, using Lagrangian mechanics means that you will need to deal with the dissipative function, and using Newtonian mechanics would still mean that you need to keep track of all the different coordinates. It's really a pick your poison situation. I'm not going to go into the theory too much, I'll leave you with a few more clips of this phenomenon. Hopefully this interesting motion will pop out of your equations. If you like this video, please make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Check out our crowdsource references linked below, and I'll see you in the next video.